Imagine a tool that allows you to transverse the vastness of the cosmos, revealing the secret of distant galaxies right from your backyard. Today, we'll embark on a journey through space and time on the Malkin Telescope, a portal to the universe. In a small town on the countryside of Italy, lay a woman named Maria. Maria, following the likes of the great pioneers of the past such as Galileo, she decided to build a home-crafted telescope for her to be able to see the heavens from above. To pay homage, she would name her telescope the Galileo Legacy Lens, which would pay homage to the great Galileo Galilei. The mirrors and sensors within the Galileo Legacy Lens became the echoes of Celestial Symphony composed by Kepler and Herskill. Maria explained how the telescope, much like its predecessor, translated the languages of light into visual masterpieces. With its adaptive optics acting as the technological evolution reminiscent of Newton's groundbreaking work on optics. But the true beauty lay not in the mechanics of the telescope that she had made, but rather paying homage to the great pioneers of the past that led to such amazing discoveries. One starry night under the same Tuscan sky where Galileo once gazed, Maria and her telescope captured the attention of the local community. People from all walks of life gathered to experience the Galileo Legacy Lens. The Galileo Legacy Lens became a symbol of astronomical renaissance, linking the new and the old, the past and the present, which inspired new generations after to always look up and to wonder and let curiosity take its drive. And just like Maria's Galileo legacy lens, the Malkinin telescope delicately navigates the heavens, revealing details of the cosmic masterpiece that are otherwise hidden to the naked eye, awaiting those that dared to explore. Now let's bring back focus to the Malkinin telescope itself. Born from the curiosity that has fueled humanity's quest for knowledge, this instrument is not just a collection of mirrors and lenses, it is a gateway to the infinite. This Newtonian refractor telescope features a U-mount design which is great for beginners, popularized by the famous Sir Isaac Newton himself, hence the name Newtonian refractor telescope. Newtonians are economical compared to other types of telescopes. This is because of their simple design and how intuitive they are to use. However, this telescope comes in two parts. It comes with the optical tube assembly as well as the mount. The optical tube assembly comes in two main parts, the primary parabolic mirror and the flat secondary mirror, both in an open-end tube configuration, where light enters the tube and reflects over the 76 diameter primary lens with an aperture of 2.99. You can think of the aperture as a cosmic lens, a portal that gathers the faintest echoes of light is the storyteller's ears tuned to the frequency of the cosmos which allows you to capture crisp and bright images on this telescope which then you can connect the eyepiece to to give you a more detailed representation of the celestial body that you're looking at but there are two different types of mount there's the az alt mount as well as the eq mount this telescope features the AZ alt mount which uses two main axes, horizontal and vertical, which means you can move it up and down as you like. But there is a downside to having the alt AZ mount, which is that once you point to a celestial body, it does tend to drift away, which I found pretty annoying, especially using this telescope. It hasn't been my favorite feature on this telescope to constantly have to adjust so that I can take pictures of the moon or the rings of Saturn. So as the moon moves away, you constantly have to readjust the Alt-AZ mount. Keep this in mind when you are getting this telescope that you're gonna have to constantly be adjusting it just to get a clear picture of the celestial body that you're looking for but this is good especially for short exposure of astrophotography so 
in a sense if you are taking pictures for astrophotography i do recommend especially if you are getting this as your first telescope to get an alt az mount because it's more intuitive to use because you only have two axes that you have to focus on which are your vertical and your horizontal axes so keep that in mind when you do look at this telescope especially if you're a beginner so here's a simple diagram that shows how light moves with this telescope so the light hits the primary mirror and then reflects off of the secondary flat mirror so once it reflects off of the secondary flat mirror it then reflects into the eyepiece that's how basically the lens works as well as the primary mirror and the secondary mirror so you can see visually how it actually works within the telescope but i did mention that there's also an eq mount so what is an eq mount an eq mount or eq mount have a declination which allows the scope to be moved north and south which is similar to the alt az mount but the difference is that the polar axis of a mounted scope must be aligned to the polar aligned north celestial pole which is the point in the night sky where all stars appear to move this enables the telescope to be adjusted accordingly and to accurately track the stars that are above so these types of mounts are the reason why you can correctly track stars by turning the knobs and adjusting them accordingly but they can also be moved by hand so in my opinion if you are looking to get a new telescope the alt az's are much better especially with the more intuitive use so keep that in mind when you do look at getting a telescope picture a clear blue sky nothing but the light from distant stars illuminating as you look up into the night sky you take your telescope and you point it to the moon and what you see is truly amazing. Just like the first time when I pierced my eyes through this telescope, it changed everything for me. From being a kid that was always curious to always asking questions to always wondering what is beyond what we know in our daily lives and what we experience, having this telescope brought that inner curiosity back for me. Having a telescope isn't just about having a collection of lenses and eyepieces it's more than that it's a gateway to the infinite a lot of us are guilty of this myself included of sometimes neglecting to ask the deep meaningful questions and what i found from this telescope is that it brings those deep meaningful questions back it reminded me of being curious as a child always asking questions and I had more questions than ever before when I first looked at the craters of the moon. I got so curious and to ask questions that I never did myself before and I decided to get even more books on astronomy and astrophotography because these are the topics that I fell into a rabbit hole as soon as I got this telescope. So much so that I've even got this app, this moon app that allows me to track the cycles of the moon as you can see the moon as at 51 percent into the night sky i will link it down in the description from the moon set to the moonrise each and everything from the angle of the moon relative to where you are you can see all the data on your phone and most of my friends and family whenever they do come to visit i always try and nudge them to take a look through this cosmic lens which is this telescope a lot of us do forget to be curious as we were when we were younger but i believe that having a piece of technology while not necessarily a piece of technology but a technology that allows you to have a shift in your perspective and to ask deep meaningful questions like a telescope look this telescope might not be the best but what if you had a piece of technology that allowed you to have a cosmic perspective that you've never had in your life before would you buy it then a lot of us go through life without actually seeing what is beyond our world and that is something that i personally believe that we should take an interest towards understanding what is beyond our own world asking deep meaningful questions that make us realize that our place in this world might be insignificant but if we ask a deep meaningful questions we can find meaning within those questions we can find reasons to have something that 
makes us excited about in the morning when we do wake up just by asking simple questions you can go so far and i believe that this telescope is not only a telescope or a piece of technology with lenses but a gateway to understanding the world like you've never seen it before each and every time i pierce my eyes through this telescope it's like a breath of fresh air seeing something that I, I know i have seen it a million times before but i wouldn't mind seeing it a million times more and that is what this perspective of this cosmic lens brings to your life it is not just a telescope but it is a gateway to having a whole new perspective on how the world works and asking deep meaningful questions so let's hop back in and let me take you through some more things about this telescope so we're back from our celestial journey and I've taken off my hat because wow that was just a truly remarkable feeling just being outside and talking about everything that we've spoken about with this telescope. Look there are different varieties and different options that you can get but if you're looking for something that's budget friendly that won't break the bank but also that is affordable and also something that you don't want to spend a lot on but you still want to have and it's pretty good i re highly recommend the newtonian reflector telescopes these are simple and intuitive to use especially if you're starting out and then as you get more into it you can start spending a lot more because what you don't want to do is you don't want to spend a lot of money and then find out that it's not your thing better spend a little bit and then see whether you like it or not. I know it's frustrating to have to constantly adjust the knobs but there are different options if you just want to spend a little bit more but in my opinion an entry level telescope is the best way to go especially if you're just trying to figure out whether you like it or not and if you want to take it up as a hobby or you're still deciding on what your next move is. So I highly recommend you get a cheap Newtonian refractor telescope that won't break the bank but will still be pretty good to use in the next couple years. Look, I've had this for over a year and it's been pretty good. I know it collects dust and I'm sure a lot of people that are going to get telescopes aren't going to use them as often but that is also something that you need to keep in mind. How often would you be using it? You don't want to spend so much money and then end up not using it at all. Have a budget and get this one it's only 3000 rand or 160 dollars which isn't that bad for a telescope i do wish this telescope had a lot more features but hey you're paying for an entry level telescope what more do you expect so the next time you see a telescope think of it as a brush a brush that allows us to paint the canvas of our story our story to discover more our quest for knowledge let this be a reminder to ask deeper and meaningful questions, to understand more about how the world works, and to never stop being curious. If you guys like the video, make sure to like, share, subscribe. It's been Fari, and I'll see you guys in the next one.